much, Squad. Welcome back to another project of the week. Before we get started, please go down below, hit that subscription button and bell so you know when I post a new video, live stream, or premiere. So today I am doing a retro cane using the extruder. I have a few examples here of some that I've made. Um, this e these that I made here were all multicolors. Um, but today I'm only using two colors to make this one. So um, a square, a circle, and then we have these two. Okay, let's move these out of the way, and we'll get into making this. First off, you need to pick your colors, which I picked. Um, this is blue from Sculpey, and I believe this is uh, acid yellow. No, zinc yellow from Sculpey. Um, you can use more than one color, um, one color, whichever you want. So I take the piece, I roll it out. I rolled mine out on a number four on my pasta machine. Um, you can go thicker, you can go thinner. Um, it's all up to you. And I'm just going to cut some circles out and I'll show you how I stack these and you can stack them in um, any order you want um, you know random um, you can be methodic about it if you want and I'm just using a um, circle cutter um, here that fits my um, extruder and I'm just going to go, let's see, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, I'll go to blue, yellow, I'll go to yellow, to blue. Now, I already have some other pieces already waiting in the um, extruder. Just gonna smush these a little bit, slip it in there, and then I'll put them in the extruder. And I'm using the square die for it today. Um, you could also use the round one if you want it. And then you just extrude this out. I already have two pieces already um, extruded out. I'll just extrude this as you see in a minute you see it went in as yellow and blue colors and you'll see as it comes out how it is mixed to the yellow and blue have got a green color on the outside but when I cut into the cane um, it'd be totally random inside and each cut you do will be a different design I cut this wonky end off, and as you can see, how it is in the center. Okay, so this is a little bit bigger than twelve, so. We're going to cut that right here. And I'm going to cut these in two pieces. And 
I'll cut the others and then I'll show you how we're going to do this. And just roughly picking these up, um, putting them together. You can see how each one has got a different inside. And as I get putting them together and then cut them, each one will still be a little bit different. Um, each cut I make. Just put those extras over there. Those are just scraps. So, you decide how big you want your cane pieces to be. Um, I cut mine in two inches, and I'm going to stack them like this. Let's see, stack four. I'm going to have to. Okay. There we go. And then you just stack these on top of each other. Trying to line them up the best you can. Now I'm just going to lightly press down to make sure they stick together. And there you have an extruded retro cane. Now I'm actually going to cut this in half. Um, and I will show you. And there's your cane. Now I can extend these and make these smaller by just lightly pushing and pulling the edges here. And this is how you reduce your kings. Bench here a bit. But this is how I make my retro canes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go down below, hit that subscription button and bell so you don't want to post a new video, live stream, or premiere. Also, like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in a future video or live stream.